Now at 11, breaking news. Thick smoke pours from an apartment building on the far south side of Chicago. You can see the flames there shooting from the roof on South Ewing. And here is a live look from Chopper 2 now where you can still see smoke and plenty of fire crews working on soaking the building with water. At one point, part of the roof did collapse there because of all those flames. And with that, we say good morning to you on this Friday. I'm Marissa Bailey. I'm Erin Kennedy. At least two people were hurt, one critically. Let's get right to CBS 2's Roseanne Teas live at the scene in the east side neighborhood. Hi, Roseanne. Hi, good morning, Aaron and Marissa. It was a really frightening morning for residents of this apartment building that you see here behind me. Uh, we're told that the smoke cleared. Well, actually, the smoke cleared. We saw the, the last of the flames doused and the smoke clearing, the thick, heavy smoke that we saw earlier clearing at this fire, which they have been battling since just after 8 this morning. Now, back to that Chopper 2 video from earlier. It captured the thick smoke and those flames we're talking about that could be seen for miles earlier this morning. Firefighters battled the blaze from ladders and nearby rooftops. We're told at least one resident was trapped inside and had to be rescued from a second floor rear apartment window by a neighbor. Life saving efforts were told there at this building this morning. On the ground, at least one woman, a resident, was taken to the hospital. You can see her on a stretcher. She was sitting up and did not appear to be badly injured, but was taken to the hospital. One resident was taken in critical condition. We're told one. One was serious. Residents we talked to at the scene describe a morning that was simply terrifying. The whole building was engulfed. Before you knew it, first it was bad smoke. And as soon as I got dressed, I only had five minutes. I was in my pajamas. And by the time we opened the door, the whole place was already going up. I went outside to look, got my coat, and I wasn't even dressed at the time. By the time I got out, the cats wouldn't come out. So I asked one of the firemen, he went in and got my two cats out for me. So the fire department rescued your cat? Yes, yes. It was a blessing. And I a very grateful resident there. Back live now, we want to show you the chopper shot. Again, the scene above a building, a seven apartment building, we're told, that caught fire this morning. And the flames are now out. There's still some smoldering smoke, but that thick black smoke from earlier has cleared. Um, I also want to tell you, I talked to a woman who owns a salon on the first floor. She told me she arrived at 715 and smelled something that early. She said she called the fire department and they were here before the blaze even really started in earnest because she knew something didn't smell right. Reporting live from the east side, Roseanne Teas, CBS 2 News. Marissa, Aaron. Oh, she's got a good sniffer. That's great, Roseanne. All right, thank you.